today, I'm going to talk about how the brain and the body react during the trauma of sexual assault. My hope is that you will learn a few things that will help you interpret the reactions that sexual assault survivors have about what happened to them. As with many reactions that rape survivors have, some can be counterintuitive. However, once we understand how the brain and body react to sexual trauma, survivor reactions can make a lot more sense. During this segment, I will focus on opiates. Opiates are the natural morphine-like hormones we have in our body to protect us from physical pain. When a rape occurs, the body reacts by sending out opiates, along with several other hormones, to help the body respond to the physical and psychological threat. The highest priority of the body is to protect its well-being. Opiates are one category of hormones that help protect the body. They are extremely high during a rape. The good thing about the elevated level is that it is helpful for blocking some of the physical and emotional pain of the rape. For example, have you ever had an injury where you didn't feel the full pain of it until later? This is likely due to opiates being released by your body to counteract the pain. As with all hormones, they run out after a while, and then we begin to feel the weight of the pain our bodies have experienced. High opiate levels are good in that they protect us from pain. However, they have a significant downside. When opiates are elevated in the body, they cause what is called a flat affect. The flat affect is a condition where the person speaks without much modulation in vocal tone. They speak in a very matter-of-fact manner without much emotion. Thus, the person with high opiates can seem aloof and uncaring. So if you're listening to someone with high opiates, it can lead you to question whether or not the survivor is telling the truth. After all, people tend to assume that a rape survivor should be hysterical and certainly not speak with a monotone voice. The takeaway messages I hope you'll get from this information are twofold. First, a rape survivor may not feel as much of the pain of the rape until hours later. So they may not know exactly what harm has been done to different parts of their body at first. Second, a rape survivor may speak in an emotionless voice after the rape occurred. It is important that we be careful to not misinterpret any lack of emotion as a sign of a false report. Rather, a monotone voice may be a sign of the trauma of rape and could be consistent with a trauma response. I hope this information helps you better understand the survivor response to rape. Thank you for watching today's video. Look for other videos like this to learn more about how the brain and body react to sexual trauma.